Hi, my name is Morgan. I'm 19 years old and I do an apprenticeship in finance and business admin. So I'm Joseph, I'm 22 years old and I'm doing level two business admin. My name is Shara, I'm 25 and I'm going to tell you about my journey of how I was accepted to complete level four business admin apprenticeship. When I left school, I was completely like all over the place. What should I do? I spoke to many professionals who are, you know, career advisors. I went to ones of lifelong learning and they advised me that there are these apprenticeships. So earning and being on the job is probably the best thing. So apprenticeship was a good way for someone like me who did not want to go to university. I was just looking at apprenticeship on the apprenticeship.gov website and there was loads of apprenticeship from different fields if you want to do um, construction, IT, carpentry, stuff like that. I knew this was a good opportunity and I just applied for it and I got a response the next day to see if they could, if I could send my CV and we could get a talk. I was at college and I was doing photography and my teacher was saying that everyone has to apply for uni but I knew that uni wasn't an option for me so I started working in Sports Direct for a year or two and then my mum said apprenticeship would be more suited for you and then I started looking into that. My first level to apprenticeship was, I would say it was tough and it was enjoyable at the same time. It was the first time I ever did a job. So it was coming into something which is new, being professional at all times when you're at work. It was quite helpful getting guidance from my colleagues. I had my lifelong learning advisor who was constantly, you know, checking my portfolio, helping me through assignments, helping me through questions. So it was a way of them teaching me of how to do things and me adapting into the work environment. I work at St John Bosco's College, lovely staff who have given me lots of opportunities that I would have never thought I would have been able to accomplish at my age. So basically um, we do support for um, their schools IT and the ones with borough, so we cover about 60 schools, so it could be sometimes it's hectic, sometimes it's quiet or sometimes it's in the middle. But to be honest, it's been a good experience. I was at work at the time I started, I was like getting the hang of it, like shadowing my colleague, and he's always there to help me if I need some help, if it's something that I don't know. The two things that I like about this apprenticeship is that when you work in a workshop, you're also learning, so it's giving me the knowledge, as well as when I'm working at work and I'm doing creative things, it's just putting the two together and, and making me expand my knowledge. If you are one to go into like a, a council or an office-based job, you should just be yourself, really. And to be honest, just enjoy it. You've always got something to learn and just build from there, really. So it's always good just to get out, get a feel of working life and also getting a paycheck for it as well. Apprenticeship has given me a positive way of thinking. I've learnt, I've also developed my skills, I've had sufficient amount of earning every month and I would recommend for everyone to do apprenticeships out there. At the moment there is loads and loads of apprenticeships. When I started apprenticeship we only had three to four categories so it's a good opportunity for all the young people out there to go and explore.